No single police officer has lost a day's wages over Hillsborough, so we feel justified in saying that you know justice has not been done. We expect that someday that you know the lid will blow off the can and the worms will come out, and obviously we will carry on campaigning for soccer safety. We will resist attempts to bring back standing. We will because that will bring back fences. Fences will cause you know another Hillsborough. We see our job as unfinished. Yes, we would like to see formal recognition at a very high level that, you know, as Lord Justice Taylor said when he did his report, that, you know, the bulk of the blame lay on the police and everybody else has tried to rewrite that fact and uh, we are not prepared to accept it. I just feel this is one area where, you know, we shouldn't turn the clock back. Grounds, in my view, are, are better now, they're safer. I um, remember going to Hillsborough as, a, as an Everton supporter for a third round game the year before and I can say you know from my experience it was the worst match experience I, I ever had and uh, you know I can remember back in, as a, a youngster in the 70s and 80s when I was kind of in my formative years watching football there were occasions where it was frightening genuinely frightening at, at, uh, at matches and I feel that the way in which uh, so football supporters were treated back in the, in the 70s and 80s, I mean, clearly it was just, just completely unacceptable. Uh, and there should be no going back to those days, no, no, no going back at all. As somebody who was at the Hillsborough disaster, 20 years seems to have flown in some ways, and at other times it seems to have dragged on. I, I would have thought the fight for justice has certainly seemed to have dragged on and on and on, and yet... The memories of that tragic day and one of the blackest days in Liverpool's 802 year history seems like it was, you know, last week. It goes back to that famous headline in a certain newspaper, doesn't it? And it's simply the truth. And that's all the people of Liverpool have ever asked for, and that's all the families have ever asked for the truth. And until they get the truth, that will be the fight for justice.